a lot of the money that seems to be allocated from the Obama administration, the uh, race to the top funds, for example, mm -hmm. are around data, and that's around data at the state level. So are you, do you think that data at the state level is what's going to transform education, or do you think data at the individual teacher-student ratio, and why? Okay, so um, I believe the question goes both ways. So uh, data up is important because as we're aggregating, you know, if you think about the states, which I think was part of the original motivation as uh, an opportunity for experimentation, mm -hmm. and you could see 50 experiments, and then the federal government can take the best of the best and implement that, I think there's a great opportunity there when you look at what the state's aggregating. You know, data, no matter what kind of data you're talking about, the old problem is garbage in, garbage out. Mm -hmm. So the first example I gave when we were talking about data is in the moment, around the learning, in the classroom. And, but then I did allude to the fact that, you know, when you're thinking programmatically about how to reform and transform education, yes, individualized education, extremely important, the personalization, and certainly the technology affords you that opportunity. But it also affords you the opportunity to aggregate and make decisions about classrooms within a school, students within a classroom, schools within a district. And those small uh, groups are what you're rolling up to get to the state level. So a state really has to be in communication with their local education districts mm -hmm. because you're going to roll up at least to a county, you know. Yep. And so communication about what data is important, what, what are the pieces everybody has to have? And then how are we going to roll it up? How, you know, interoperability of the data. We need to think those things through so that when we get it all rolled up at the top, it, it makes meaning. Mm -hmm. And so, so it, it looks like the federal stimulus is something that can really make that happen. And without the federal stimulus, we, it just wouldn't take place. I think the federal stimulus is really a fantastic opportunity to make this happen. And, uh, you know, I check recovery.com fairly regularly and transparency, accountability across all their programs. It, it's You can tell that it's a value they're embracing and taking seriously. And within education, I think this is a good thing. Uh, you know, whether we like it or not, grades and test scores have become the commerce of education. And those are big pieces of data that they're making some very important decisions on. So the opportunity to get the right data and make good decisions with it that lead to better test scores, we have to seize that opportunity. And so times are tough. We heard that this morning. But at the same time, you know, one door closes. I think this focus is opening another door. Okay. Well, Eileen, thank you very much. And have a great rest of the conference. Okay.